We are still a year away, but you can add one more name to the list of Republicans eyeing a run for New York. Yeah, today, former Westchester County Executive Rob Astrino officially threw his hat in the ring and spoke exclusively to our Tara Rosenblum in a socially distanced interview outside his Hawthorne home. It's an interview you'll see first on 12. I'm feeling great. I can't wait to get around the state. Rob Astorino is back. I'm back, and I'm, I'm excited, too. This time as a candidate for governor. So this is not the first time you've run for New York's top job. You lost this general election race to Governor Cuomo in 2014. Yeah. What makes you think that you could win it now? This time it's going to be done the right way. We're going to win it. I gave Cuomo the closest race he's ever had. People don't realize that. We came in really close to Cuomo in 14 when I was outspent 8 to 1. But unlike his last gubernatorial run when he won 46 of the state's 62 counties, the former Westchester County executive could face a competitive primary with GOP heavyweights like Congressman Lee Zeldin already in the running. He has already gotten a head start when it comes to campaign donations and endorsements. So how do you plan to go after some of these crucial campaign dollars? It's the first inning of a nine inning ball game. It's a long way off. You know, we're a year to the convention, so I'm not concerned about that at all. I think I'm best suited to win a general election. In his first and socially distanced interview as a candidate, we also asked him about Andrew Giuliani, the son of former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, who was also considering joining the race and says he's already reached out to his former boss, President Trump, for his support. The question becomes, would Donald Trump's endorsement in this race help or hurt a candidate? I think it's kind of neutral, to be honest. I don't know. And maybe it helps a little bit in a primary. Maybe it hurts in a general election. Have you spoken yeah. to him about this race yet? I have. Yeah, he actually called me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he called me when it was in the papers, and uh, I told him I was going to run and he wished me luck. Consider this, the last time a Republican won statewide office, George W. Bush was president nearly two decades ago. Still, Astorino likes his odds. But I've always been popular with Democrats and independents. And most of them, Astorino says, want change. The city's in a death spiral. You look at crime, people don't want to go into the city now. There's no such thing as a criminal anymore. The hottest real estate market for New Yorkers is Florida. But he says he has the right formula to keep them here so they can vote Astorino in November. Tara Rosenblum, News 12. And right now there are at least 10 other Republicans who are reportedly considering running on the Republican line for New York governor.